All right, what is going on, guys? Five back again, coming at you with a video that um, honestly I feel like I should have made a little while ago. But um, this is a uh, well, top ten tips and tricks for like just steady progression in this game. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to talk about opening up the map. Uh, first and foremost, I keep saying first and foremost. My bad, guys. I'm nervous. Anyways, as you see here, one thing that you're definitely gonna want to do is go to every single one of these statues of the seven. As you get these statues of the seven, more of the map will actually be exposed for you. Now, a lot of people will see an animoculi or a geoculi, and then they will immediately try to go and grab that, but if you're using the interactive map and you're trying to mark down every single one that you have collected, because they don't show up on <laughs> they don't show up on the map until you get near them it is not based on where you are on the map it's based on how close you are to the oculi all right so i realized that i barely brushed over the oculi and i think that the oculi is something that's very 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 important to collect okay so oculi is going to be your lifeblood on your stamina as you collect oculi you will feed them to the statue of the gods and that will allow your stamina in to pretty much increase stamina will determine how far you sprint how far you swim how far you uh Hover how far you climb. <laughs> Climbing is the important one. Um, these four things are going to be literally your exploration. And it also will affect how far your little Noelle can do her little spinning blade as you hold um, your attack button. Right? So, Oculi is definitely going to be very important. But do not lose track of the Oculi. I personally accidentally marked as if I got an Oculi, but I didn't. And then I ended up spending an extra like two hours like searching for the one Oculi that I was missing because I had I was missing only two. So I'm currently done collecting Oculi and I'm telling you having all um, like having more than two bars of stamina is incredibly nice because I see people like losing their sprint as I'm playing co-op and I'm just like I don't have to worry about that. Um so definitely open up your map, use the interactive map in order to just steady your progression and actually understand which oculi you have picked up so definitely first uh first and foremost biggest tip i can give explore the map have fun while doing it open up chests along the way uh, so statues of the seven they will open up the map and then the teleporters will allow you to actually teleport to them uh, keep in mind that these domains as well or these like hidden places will allow you to teleport to them as well which is really 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 cool so second on the list open up chests <laughs> the chest will give you a lot of xp However, be very, very careful as you're starting out to not fight enemies that are higher level than you if you struggle. If you want to give it a try and test out and see how strong they are, then be my guest. Like, you're more than welcome to do that. However, just keep in mind, I've gotten my pancakes clapped a little bit sometimes, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I try to go against the level 24 enemy when I was level 20, and honestly, the enemies take so long to die, it just wasn't really worth it, so I should have just skipped out on them. But, like, I mean, that's just me because... <laughs> Hold on, I'm, like, stuck here. Yeah. So, as you see here, just picking up chests along the way. Open up a common chest. It gives me uh, Adventure XP 20, and then it just gives me a bunch of goodies. Now, these artifacts I use to level up my good artifacts. So, literally, opening up a chest will just give you invaluable resources that you can't really otherwise get anywhere unless you're using um, resin for the domains. Uh, resin recharges once every eight minutes second tip open up chess yeah and as you can see here we also have puzzles forts like uh not really puzzles i i don't really know if you would consider this a puzzle <laughs> but uh as you see here as we uh bring the little geos into uh the chest area it'll unlock the chest and it also gave us a nice little gust of wind usually when these gusts of wind will like top you into an oculi or something along those lines which can be very 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 helpful also they actually let you see around the map which is really cool like you see here i was actually looking for this area quite a while ago all right and next on the list i'm gonna have to definitely put mark your map now as you see here uh click on my map i haven't personally marked it but it's because it's my last geoculi i am missing one geoculi and it's right here however <laughs> The entrance to the oculi is over here, and it's not until I get to a higher adventure rank before I can actually even get that quest. So right now, I'm, I'll mark it on the map, that way I can keep track of it. Also, this place is actually a really good one, because I failed this mission because I just didn't see the chest on the way out. So I'm going to mark them on my map. I'm going to hope <laughs> that I don't fail this quest once again. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, see, let's see how this goes. So you see like time is winding down. Ah, 
Ah, there's the chest. I didn't even see. It, it didn't even spawn the first time around. Okay, that's annoying. Next on the list, I'm definitely gonna have to say the biggest and most important thing to leveling up is definitely going to be pretty much just doing your quests. But like the most important thing is gonna be doing your commissions. Now we get four commissions a day. Those are gonna be pretty much your dailies. And I would recommend doing them because they give you a ton and ton and ton of adventure XP. So you'll see as I go and finish this up. All right, and as we have, we're about to do our commissioner uh, commissions right here, uh, that'll lead me into my next point, and that is use your different characters. You'll see here that Barbara will provide wet for my venti, and then I can do this for swirl, and that will deal just straight up good damage right away. You can also do this, try to get burn on all the enemies, and then Barbara will vaporize. Now, using your different characters will allow you to kill significantly faster, and that honestly ends up being like very, very important in the future of the game because that's pretty much gonna be your main oh, I should probably actually kill him. That's gonna be your main way of actually uh, not necessarily leveling up in this game, but actually taking out big enemies. <laughs> like if you're trying to beat one boss without trying to use different elements to try to combine for significantly more damage, you're gonna be in trouble. All right, next on the list, and literally just perfect segment, cooking. Now cooking will definitely give you a ton and ton and ton of benefits. As you see here, regenerates HP every five seconds for the next 30 seconds. Um, yeah, as you see, I'm kind of like slacking when it comes to it, but like something like fried radish balls could be really, really good. Increases all party members attack by 66 to 95 for 300 seconds in co-op mode. This effect only applies to your own character. Uh, increases all party members crit rate, increases all party members defense, and of course, uh, one of the most important ones, eggs. <laughs> if you see the eggs on the map, they'll usually be in trees and like they're in, it's a bird's nest, right? So you loot their eggs, usually two per nest. And as you see here, they actually revive your selected characters. All right, so, all right, so should a character of yours die, a little weak. so as you see here, if you want to revive them, using eggs are going to be like your pretty much primary source of like revival. Um, that also being said, keep in mind that reviving a unit will actually bring a cooldown of 120 seconds in order to actually reuse it so you can't just die infinitely and just keep reviving so that's like the big issue when it comes to reviving you'll see i revived with like 150 hp so someone like barbara is going to actually be able to heal me but a normal character like venti noel Ling, literally anybody else they're not going to be able to just cheese that <laughs> so please be careful about dying and using your revive food when you use your revive food what you can do is go in here and immediately just use oh oops wrong one there we go. You can immediately just use other food in order to just like level, like max heal the character. And these have no cooldown, so just keep that in mind. All right, it's not really talked about all too much in the game. However, there are set bonuses. If you have two fire units, you'll deal more damage. If you have two wind units, you'll actually not only run faster, but your stamina will also de deplete uh, significantly slower. So if I go into over here. All right, so if you open up your party menu, you'll see down here you have the elemental res resonance, right? And you'll see here, decreases stamina consumption by 15%, which is really, really good. Increases movement speed by 10%, shortens skill cooldown by 5%. The reason that this is very, very important, especially as a new player, is if you're running two wind units, you want to explore as fast as possible, right? Like I said, you want to open up the map, you want to like pick up the chest, you want to level up quicker. Honestly, running two wind units, if possible, I would highly advise it just because of the increased movement speed. Being able to just like zoom zoom across the map to an area that you can't normally teleport to is going to be very 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 important. I'm personally not using like two fire units because I tried pulling Diluc and I failed. Um, <laughs> but um, as you see here everyone has their own different elemental resonance from high voltage, soothing water, uh, shattering ice, enduring rock. So just keep in mind that there, there are little niches that might appeal to someone else's play style. But yeah, as a new player I highly recommend the impetuous winds, decreases stamina consumption by 15%. That means that you will sprint more, you will hover more, you will climb more. Like that is just, honestly, it's very 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 good. Alright, next on the list 
leveling up your characters. I feel like it's very obvious, <laughs> like to just say, so you'll just level up your characters, bro. It's like, obviously I want to level up my characters. However, there are a lot of items that you'll need to actually level up a character to begin with. So I'm going to level up my Zhan Ling. She actually needs some ascension materials. And as you see here, I crafted um, the weaker material into the stronger material. Um, Agnid Agnes... <laughs> Anidas, a gate. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering it. I apologize. It is what it is. But um, so I evolve it into the fragment. I got the Everflame seeds from the boss. We, uh, I've been farmed these Julian chilies. Make sure that you leave no vegetable unturned. Um, I'm just gonna throw that in there. Uh, that should be one of the tips, to be honest. Just make sure that you pick up everything that you see, just because you never know when you're gonna actually need it. And boom, we ascend the character. And that is going to be what you need to get a character from level 20 to 40, from 40 to 50. You need to ascend. Um, ascension occurs, I believe, at level... I want to say level 20 and then level 25 for the next ascension. I'm not sure when the next one is. I think it might be 30 or 35. But um, yeah, now I can get my character from 40 to level 50. Now keep in mind, getting a character from 1 to 20 is going to be significantly easier than getting a character to 20 to 40, which should be obvious. But hey man, I'm, I'm just going to tell you this right now. It's hard to level up your character through actual combat. So these books are going to be your, honestly, they're going to be your saving grace. And as you see here, it is really, really, really expensive in order to like level up my character. Right now it's costing 50, 60 books just for five levels. That's mad, bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do that. Cost a thousand per these books and then 4,000 per these books. Now keep in mind that the xp is the same in terms of uh ratio per money so this gives you 20k xp which is four times the amount of this this gives you 5000 xp but the cost is four times less per book so they're literally just this is four times stronger than this but it doesn't cost less to actually enhance so this is going to cost you a lot of gold this is going to cost you a lot of uh, time and you will get these books from chess you'll get these books from domains so just keep that in mind as you're progressing through leveling up your character is definitely going to make your life significantly easier now uh, i just want to toss this little tidbit in next on the list and it's got to go to artifacts artifacts are probably the most important thing you have on a character you'll see that like my girl's attack is literally just plus 88 max hp 430 but you'll see that my um my venti is actually built completely differently now you definitely want to stack attack i just don't really have too many attack percent rolls that i actually want to work with so i decided to make my venti more energy recharge which uh, is me just like fooling around more than anything but you'll see here like attack attack defense because i didn't have an attack roll for this one <laughs> and then you i have crit rate on this because uh I wanted, I got attack 4.7% and energy 4.7% on it. So I figured, eh, you know what, I'll just use this for now. Uh, so yeah, you definitely want to work on your artifacts. Keep in mind that a flat attack or attack percent are going to be what you want to mainly go for. This first slot is always going to be HP. Second slot is always going to be flat attack. And then these are where you uh, differentiate the characters between the last three. So definitely go for a unit that'll carry you with like attack percent or just straight up raw damage i wouldn't really advise going for like a crit rate set or a crit damage set until you have like a good unit built up for attack like i said my venti i'm still grinding trying to get some good uh, good artifacts i'm gonna say accessories but this is gonna be the most important thing make sure that you be leveling up make sure that you be make sure that you are leveling up your artifacts as you progress through this game because it'll just make your life a lot easier your character will hit harder you will clear the game you, you will clear bosses faster and that's honestly like probably the most important thing that i could really uh try to knock into your head you know so yeah definitely look into your artifacts make sure that you guys are uh building your characters appropriately because some characters are scaled differently all right as you see here on my barbara melody loop Barbara's normal attacks heal party members, which scales with Barbara's max HP, as well as this. For Noelle, in particular, increased attack that scales based on her defense. So you're going to want to build her with defense, all right? So that's exactly how this goes. Keep in mind that Noelle, for example, is meant to be a tank, and as such, she is scaled off defense when it comes down to her uh, special move, her elemental burst, I should say. All right, so next on the list, we're going to be talking about Ley Lines. Ley Lines will give you a good amount of adventure ranks, and as you see here, it also gives you the um, companion bonus. I, I'm not quite sure exactly how that works yet. I'm still relatively new to the game. I just definitely want to... Uh, there we go. So just... Hey, what up, my man? You're open. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm open, bro. I'm open, yo. Say, say goodbye, homie. Bang, bang, boy. Oh, there's actually more enemies. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like being cheeky and stuff. Alright, challenge completed. Now we touch the ley line blossom in order to collect the rewards. Requires original resin. Recharges once every eight minutes. Wanderer's advice, adventure's XP. So nothing too crazy there, but we did get various rewards, and then on top of that, we were able to get some treasure hoarder insignias due to the ley line as well as adventure rank, which is uh, probably the most important thing that we could really do right now. Since your resin recharges one every eight minutes, you definitely want to keep that cooldown always running. So right now I have a hundred. These domains usually cost twenty. These domains usually cost twenty, and you'll see that they actually give some good amount of adventure rank. So you get a hundred rank per twenty. Also, you get I believe a hundred rank per twenty resin automatically just for using it. I'm not quite sure exactly how that works, uh, but. Either way, you can run domains, some of them you can actually run with your friends, possible rewards change daily. So these are weapon ascension materials that you can use to level up. The thing about these guys, I will say this, Domain of Forgery ruins Thirsting Capital Wednesday to Saturday. So this domain in particular is only open on certain days. There's going to be a lot of domains that do that. So getting into these domains is definitely going to be very clutch in terms of just straight up raw progression. So we're going to go in. All right, so we're gonna go in. As you see here, it tells you the recommended elements over there in the recommended elements. I usually don't really care about it as long as your team is like... All right, so usually you don't have to worry about the recommended elements as long as your team is actually built nicely. Like for example, my Venti. My Venti actually works very well with my Barbara because of the wet mechanic. So you have Swirl over there, uh, Zhan Ling will actually do vaporize with water right and then on top of that official of course waifu right there boom electro charge that takes place with water so like right now almost all my guys cohe are very very cohesive with my barbara which my barbara is a healer so having her on the team it just makes life a little bit easier okay so now i actually have to care because i'm running out of time Yeah, they really increased the cooldown on my venti though. Like, damn, bro. Yeah, just take take the take the hydro off of me, like. I'm definitely gonna use that right off the rip. I'm gonna use that right off the rip. Boom! Challenge completed. After you complete the challenges, usually these aren't very difficult, which is sometimes kind of unfortunate, to be honest. You claim the rewards. This is what's going to take your resin, by the way. So if you do these domains in co-op, they won't... Some of them won't take your resin until you try to claim the rewards, right? Which is kind of nice, because that means that you can actually help your boys out and your girls, you know what I'm saying? So that way, um, if, they need, if, if they actually need help, you can help them with that. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much going to conclude this video, just because... Mm, Damn, girl. All right. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty much just going to conclude the video just because I, I want to just do 10 tips. I feel like there's a lot to this game, and I feel like discovering the rest of it could be really, really cool for you guys. Um, for those that want, like, an extended video, let me know if you guys actually would want something like that. Maybe I'll do, like, another 10 tips or something. But anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, guys, grind on, catch up with me. I'll stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all my Genshin Impact content. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.